I'm a big kid now. My pull-ups new leaf are like made with plants and super, super. You know when God um, encourages you, uplifts you, and you feel the rush of the Holy Spirit, and you're excited, you're energized. It's amazing. You know when God um, encourages you, uplifts you, and you feel the rush of the Holy Spirit, and you're excited, you're energetic, you're not really thinking about anything negative, you're ready to start what you need to do, but as soon as you start getting things finished, or you start working on things, Sometimes you can feel like a wave of depressive energy just hit you. And you're like, where did this come from? I feel like going to go lay down. I feel like sitting down, taking a break. And I feel like laying down. Now I feel like crying. And you don't know where it came from. Sometimes it is you just being sensitive in spirit. And you are definitely um, able to feel the emotions of others. That does happen. But also sometimes it's a form of that's being done okay oh my neighbor's coming out <laughs> sometimes it is a form of witchcraft coming out as well that's that you're being affected by especially if you have a consistent attacker okay like if you have someone that's consistent with attacking you this is what happens sometimes because remember something they want to cause anxiety and they want to cause stress because the more that they do this to you, it's a domino effect. So here's how you'll know that you're, you're being sensitive in spirit and you're just picking up the emotions of someone else. Because how you'll know is because you'll probably feel the waves of emotions, but it's not going to affect you to where now you want to stop what you're doing. Now you want to completely just say, forget my whole day, God, I'm done. And go back to that place of sulking and weeping. And you get what I'm saying? When you're when you're picking up someone else's emotions, it's not going to affect you that way. When it's witchcraft and someone is manipulating your emotions, it's like you don't want to do anything. You don't even have the energy to cook, to clean, the energy to even write anything, the energy to do laundry, the energy to do anything. That's when you know you have to rebuke it. You got to cancel it and rebuke it. And that's when you know you got to get on your knees and rebuke it, okay? Remember something, just because, you know, we're running, okay, does not mean that th there's not going to be people trying to attempt to throw things in our way for us to trip and for us to fall. Because we know this, we have to use our authority, our spiritual authority, and we got to cancel and rebuke things, okay? So I already know what I'm working on when I get home. I know what God wants me to work on. I'm about to get it done, regardless if they like it or not. You got to have the same mindset, same mentality, despite what you're feeling and what you're battling, okay? You'll know, like I said, you'll know the difference because when you're sensitive in spirit and you're just picking up the emotions of the world and things going on, it won't affect you to where you don't want to take care of yourself. But when it's witchcraft manipulation, you don't even want to take care of yourself. You don't even want to eat. You don't want to do nothing. You want to just give up on everything. That's when you know, and that's when you have to rebuke it, okay? Do not let that wave of depression hit you. The devil is using many tactics right now. You got to be 10 steps ahead. I know y'all probably don't want to hear about this and all of that stuff, but I have to be obedient. When I hear something from God and I can, I can see it or I can feel it, I have to speak on it. And I'm just saying, whoever is feeling this right now, like, okay, you know, I've been okay all day. And all of a sudden, a wave of emotions of depression is hitting me. And it makes me want to pull back and go back in my shell and not do nothing. Do not let that get to you. Fight through it. Okay? Because if you let it get through, through you're going to continue letting it get through every other time. But if you fight through it, you're training your mind, your body, and your spirit how to fight through it. So next time it happens, you already know what to do. You see what I'm saying? That's the whole point of training, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> She's a soldier. Thank you, little one.